Good morning. Today's topic is liquid liquid extraction that is you have to extract a liquid from two different liquids. Uh, there are different types of uh, liquids if you dissolve them. First one is immiscible. Then you have partial immiscible. Then you have miscible. Is the name indicates immiscible that is they are not going to dissolve together that is both the liquids are there but they are not mixing each other they are not mixed. Then partially miscible it, it is partially indicates that some amount is mixed some it is not mixed. Then you have miscible that is they are completely mixed. It is very difficult to separate them but this technique we are going to use for immiscible one. We will use liquid liquid extraction technique for the immiscible ones. And this technique is based on distribution coefficient. distribution coefficient and partition coefficient. Distribution coefficient is also known as partition coefficient and what is distribution coefficient? It is a quantitative measure in which a component or a solute gets distributed in self, itself in two different phases. It is indicated by KD and it is how a component distributes in its hydrophobic phase and hydrophilic phase. Hydrowords is related to water and phobic it is related to phobia that is water hating and hydrophilic hydro itself again water philic it is water loving. So, this is water hating phase another one is water loving phase. Water loving phase is the aqueous phase and this one is the organic phase. You can also write it as solubility of a solvent. In organic layer. upon again solubility of a solvent in aqueous layer. It uh, the so, uh, so, solution it is going to uh, distribute itself into organic layer and then into aqueous. Then next comes how you are going to separate. For this you have to select a solvent that is selection of solvent. You can use different uh, some common solvents you are using is water, dichloroethane, then you can use water ether. Uh, we are seeing that common is water, an aqueous phase is also needed, but what property of water helps us to extract a liquid that is water. Water is highly polar and next is it is immiscible in organic solvent. So, you can use this uh, solvent to distribute or to extract the liquid liquid and one main common thing is that you cannot you cannot separate ethanol and methanol why? We cannot separate ethanol and methanol by using this technique because they are soluble both in water and in organic solvent in organic phase. So, you there is it is very difficult to it is very difficult or you can say it is impossible to separate ethanol and methanol by this technique. Now, which techniques you are using for the extraction of liquid? First technique you are using is separating funnel. As you all might have seen a separating funnel in a laboratory 
that is it is this type of structure you have seen. Here you are having a stop cork and here you are going to put a beaker. Now you will add the solution from here and you have closed the stop cork, you will see that the solution it is going to distribute itself in two phases, one A and B. First you will open the stop cork and you will take out the solution B and after that you will change it, you will, uh, you will keep it another beaker and you will get A. And this is the phase where you will see that both of these are being separated. So it is a little bit care you have to take to separate the two components. And this technique is mostly for example you are using, you have to separate different chlorophyll pigments. If you are using A and B, you can distinguish it by just color also. One is dark color, another one is light color, you can separate very easily. And then second you have micro pipette. Where we are going to use micro pipette? We use micro pipette during the DNA extraction or during molecular biology experiment. If you remember that whenever you extract a DNA, after you have taken the super natant, after adding CTAP buffer, then their condition comes when you have to add, uh, when you have to add CI and you just, uh, you just centrifuge it and you see different two layers A and B and you have to take out this. So, you are going to take out this layer by using a micro pipette. So, you can separate the two liquids by using micro pipette in lab. Third technique you are going to apply is using drying agents. Now let us come to drying agent. If you are two of the solvent or two of the components, they are not completely miscible with each other. Somehow, somewhere something is left and there is a water, you have to remove it. So drying agent is used to remove water. For example, you may use MgSO4. It will absorb 7 molecules of water then you can use CaCl2 it will absorb 6 molecules of water. So different drying agents you can use just to, uh, just to absorb water and to get the liquid whatever you desire. After drying agent it comes acid base ext extraction. In acid base extraction you have different groups like amines, then you have carboxylic acids, then you have phenols. By using the technique acid base extraction, you can just remove, uh, you can uh, just extract amine group, carboxylic acid group and phenol by just changing the pH. For example, you are having amine, you will change the concentration with hydrogen ion. Then you have carboxylic acid, this you can change by hydroxyl ion and this will combine and will for water. One main thing is these reactions they all are reversible. Then you have phenol group, this will also combine and it will form So, this technique you can apply acid base extraction for these different groups by changing the pH and you can get your desired component. And last you are going to apply is sublimation. This is the y axis and this is the x axis, you are having pressure here and on this you are having temperature. Now there comes a point 
this point is known as triple point. Why do we say it a triple point? We say it a triple point because this is a point at which three different states of matter that are solid, liquid and gas, they are going to occur coincidentally that it, it is a point where three states of matter solid, then you have liquid and then you have gas, they are going to occur coincidentally. So, this technique also you can use for the extraction of liquids. For example, by this technique you can isolate caffeine from tea and this technique is also used for dry eyes which you already know that uh, when uh, which you already know that during expand during the molecular biology the materials they are bringing it in dry eyes so that they are not destroyed. So, you can use different types of techniques separating funnel, then micro pipette, then drying agent, then acid by extraction, then sublimation. In lab also we can use these techniques just to extract our two different liquids and if we are going to do this technique then we are going to concentrate our product, we are going to remove the liquid which is undesired in our required form. Thank you.